right, here we are, hanging out with Mr. Bones. We're going to talk about anatomical terminology. What we want to start off with is the anatomical position. Now, the anatomical position is standing up nice and tall, feet square, facing forward, but the key is palms are facing forward. That's the key to the anatomical position. Okay, shoulders nice and straight, eyes looking forward. The difference between the anatomical position and the fundamental position is palms are medial this way. Anatomical position, palms are facing forward. Fundamental position, palms are facing medial or towards the body. So that's the key difference. Now let's look at some basic terminology. Let's start with superior versus inferior. Superior obviously would be anything above and inferior would be below. So an example would be the skull is superior to the pelvis. The femur is inferior to the rib cage. So superior versus inferior. Now let's do anterior versus posterior. Anterior would be towards the front, posterior obviously towards the back. The sternum is anterior to the heart, right? The heart is posterior to the sternum. So anterior meaning front, posterior meaning back there. The ones that students sometimes get a little uh, confused with is proximal versus distal. So let me give you the basic definition of proximal versus distal. Proximal usually means closer to the trunk, okay, and distal means further away. And it usually references two components. So let me give an example. If I say that the elbow is distal to the shoulder, that's correct, because the elbow is further away than the shoulder. Proximal means closer. So then I would say the shoulder is proximal to the elbow, right? So the shoulder is closer to the trunk. Usually we don't use proximal and distal with the, the trunk itself, although you could, but we usually save it for the extremities, okay? Now, let me give you another example. You think about this. The hip is proximal to the knee. Do you think that's true? The hip is proximal to the knee. That is true because it's closer. Does that make sense? Okay, so keep that in mind. Another term is medial versus lateral. Medial meaning towards midline, lateral meaning outside. We'll start with the sternum. The sternum is medial to the shoulder. That would be correct. But the shoulder is lateral to the sternum. Okay, so those are some terminology that you would probably want to get used to. Superior versus inferior, medial versus lateral, proximal versus distal, anterior and posterior. Another one that we use sometimes is superficial versus deep. Superficial meaning towards the surface and deep. So the skin is superficial to the bones, correct? The heart and lungs are deep to the rib cage. So that would be giving you some reference points. This medical terminology is very useful, especially with medical charting, so make sure you get used to that and kind of quiz yourself, make some flashcards and give scenarios and say what is proximal, what is, what is distal, what is medial, and what is lateral. All right, good luck with that.